Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for May June 2025 Variant 3 1. I will be doing the spreadsheet task. The web page task is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So this will be task 5 spreadsheet. You will assist Tavara Racing to analyze performance data when testing their racing cars. Open and examine the file trtest.csv. So open trtest.csv. Place right aligned in the header the text created by followed by a space then your name, send a number and candidate number. So this is the file. Make sure all the data are clearly visible. You can click at this corner and double click on any column border so that all the data will be clearly visible. Now go to insert header and footer. So in the header right align you need to place the text created by followed by a space then your name center number and candidate number. Next place in the footer the text created on followed by a space the date then the text at followed by an automated time. So the alignment is not specified. Let's give in the left side. So created on a space. Then current date. So add the date. A space. The word at. So type the word at. Then a space. The time. So select current time. So the header and footer is ready. You can close the header and footer. Just go to view normal. Save this as a spreadsheet with the file name test data followed by your center number and candidate number. So save this. followed by your center number and candidate number. Make sure it is saved as a spreadsheet so it, so it should be Excel workbook. Enter the missing lap numbers in column A. So in column A you can see the lap numbers 1 and 2 are given so we need to add the other lap numbers uh, from 3 to and so on. So you can just select 1 and 2 and you can auto fill it by clicking here so that all the lap numbers are filled. Place a replicable formula in cell F14 to calculate the time in seconds taken for this lap. For example if the minutes equal to 1 seconds equal to 14 and, and thousands of a second this should display the minutes added with the seconds and the thousands of a second one minute equal to 60 seconds so we need to enter the time here So the formula should be equal to the minutes multiplied by 60 plus you can add the seconds to it plus we need the thousands of the seconds. So this divided by thousand. So this is the 
formula minutes multiplied by 60 plus we'll add the seconds and for the thousand this value divided by thousand. Display the data in cell F14 to three decimal places and replicate this formula. So right click format cells. Click on number and make sure it is three decimal place. Okay. Now you can replicate the formula. Insert 10 rows between rows 1 and 2. So between rows 1 and 2, we have to insert 10 rows. So you can select 10 rows, then right click, insert, so that we have 10 rows here. Move the contents of cells H13 to H20 into cells A3 to A10. So this should be moved so you can cut it A3 to A10. So paste it here. Merge cells A1 to F1. Format this merge cell with a black 36 points sans serif phone on a yellow background a1 to f1 you can merge it it should be yellow background 36 point sans serif you can select area merge cells a12 to f12 Format rows 1 to 13 of the spreadsheet to look like this. So it should look like this. So you can see in row 1, we should increase the height of the row. And the text should come on two lines. So you can select this, click on wrap text. So the text will come on two lines. You can adjust the width so that uh, it looks exactly as given here. I have adjusted the width of the first column so you can see it comes as shown in the question. Now you can see this text is right aligned so make it right aligned. And here all these text are aligned, center and vertically both vertically and horizontally. So the alignment is center so make sure horizontally and vertically it is aligned increase the width of the sorry increase the height of the row now for these two take for this one thousands of a second you need to make sure it's wrapped so wrap text you can decrease the width of this. Adjust the width so that the text looks exactly as in the question. Apply the border here. Place in cell B3 a formula to display the fastest lap time from the data display. So the fastest lap time would be the minimum time taken. So we have to use the MIN formula. So 
So this is the fastest lap time minimum of F14 to F53. The slowest will be the maximum value taken. So it will be max of same range. Display the average lap time in cell B5. So in cell B5, you can use the average formula for the same range. Place in cell B6 a formula to display the number of laps where the supercharger was on. So we need to find the number of laps where the supercharger was on. So here you can see supercharger set to off and on. So we can use the count if function. Count if function will count the cells based on a condition. So count. You can use the wizard range and criteria. So range is the column from which we need to count and the criteria is what should be counted. So the range will be this column and we need to count when the supercharger was on. So the criteria will be on. The text on should be typed here. You okay? So this is the formula. Next in cell B7 a formula to display the number of laps where the supercharger was off. So same way, same formula you can use. But the criteria will be off. So the range is and the criteria is off. You okay? So this is the formula. Place in cell B8 a formula to calculate the average lap time when the supercharger was on. So we can use the average if function. So we need to find the average when the supercharger was on. So average if. The range is, we need to check uh, when the supercharger was on. So the range is this column. The criteria is on and the average range is, we have to find the average lap time. So the lap time should be the average range. I'll make this range absolute so that we can copy this formula to the next cell. So we got this. Place in cell B9 formula to calculate the average lap time when the supercharger was off. So it is the same similar formula only the criteria will be different. So you can just replicate it and instead of on you can change it to off. Place in cell B10 a formula to display SC success if the average lap times were faster with the supercharger on or to display SC failed if not. So if the average lap times were faster with the supercharger on or to display SC failed. So this is the supercharger on average time when it was on and this is when it was off. So if it is faster, that means if this value is greater, uh, we need to display the text SC success, otherwise SC failed. So we need to use the if formula. You can use if formula if, if the lap time when the supercharger was on that means this one is faster than that means it's greater than when it was off if it is true we have to give or we have to display the text sc success otherwise sc failed 
equivoqué. So this is the required formula. Save your spreadsheet. So let's just save the spreadsheet. Print your spreadsheet showing the formula. Make sure the printout is in landscape. Orientation, row and column headings are displayed. Contents of all cells are fully visible. So let's display the formula first. Go to formulas, show formulas. Now make sure all the data are clearly visible. So just double click on the border. Now go to file, print. You can set it to landscape. Row and column headings should be displayed and contents of all cells must be visible. You can make sure all the columns fit on the page. Go to page setup. On sheet, you can give row and column headings. Give OK. So the row and column headings will be shown. So you can print the formula this way. Next, print your spreadsheet showing the values. Make sure the printout fits on a single page. Printout is in portrait. Row and column headings are not displayed. So first, let's show the, remove the formula. Now go to print, make sure it is portrait. Go to page setup, do not show the row and column headings. It must fit on a single page. It must fit on a single page. So go to scaling and make sure fit sheet on one page. So all the data will fit on one page. And then you can print this. So this is the end of the spreadsheet task. The web page task is done. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.